Okay, hello, hello, hello. How is everyone? Good to be once again. Today is Wednesday, 2nd of October. Hope everyone's having a good day. Bit of a different Wednesday today. This is kind of what I'll be talking about today. Uh, just uh, as a starting point for those uh, that may wonder, Red, when you come on live, why are you sat there for 30 seconds not saying anything? Uh, very good question. And the answer to that is because when the recording shows, there is normally a advert at the beginning and it is to allow people uh, to listen to what I've got to say. So the advert gets out of the way uh, before I come on live. That's all it is. No other reason. Hope everyone's having a good day for wherever you are. Uh, obviously, listen to Marty and Chris earlier on. And obviously, again, uh, sending uh, all my best wishes and get wells to Robin Noble. She really is going through a lot at the moment. So... If you are one of the prayer warriors, please send her some that way. Haven't heard anything else uh, on Passive Wise of, as of today. Uh, I do know that Chris was texting backwards and forwards a little bit last night with Ash. Uh, I haven't heard anything myself. Uh, he's obviously very busy behind the scenes, that's for sure. And as we've all been saying, uh, we are imminently waiting for information and the launch of our oes okay so uh guys uh keep plugged in and stay tuned so i've captioned uh the title of this one a uh, new chapter uh why did i choose that uh really because of the news of yesterday for no more on passive 360s now to some people, they sort of understand it. Other people thought it was a bit of a shock and why aren't we doing it, etc. And the reason I've called it a new chapter is because I really do get the feel and the vibe from our CEO that this next phase of On Passive really is a new chapter. And part and parcel of that is to I wouldn't say wipe the slate clean, but I really do think that we need to start brushing off the old and embracing the new. And part of that really is that the on passive 360 uh, platform that myself, Marty and Chris uh, used to do. Obviously, it started off as two and a half men then morphed into on passive 360, where we used to see uh, our, our CEO an awful lot. Um it was a good place for him to come uh, to give us updates, to hang out, to uh, bring us any on passive information. But the problem with that was uh, not only timings for many people, it didn't suit because it was uh, when they were working. Uh, he didn't always come on when the time allowed because of his work commitments and obviously things get in the way. Part of the moving forward into the new chapter of On Passive is so that certain corporate things can be relayed in a uh, professional corporate manner that is understandable and we know it is coming from the right place. Anything outside of the ecosystem, there's always going to be, I suppose, can't blanche for our opinions, including myself, uh, Marty, Chris, everybody else. And if we have got one focal area for corporate information to go to, which is going to be the ecosystem, then we know uh, all the correct details. There is no confusion. There is no bending of truth. There is no uh, personal uh, interpretation, I think, is the nicest way of putting it. And in that way, everybody gets the same information. Now, once obviously we have seen that information, then we will all carry on doing what we have done all along. I will do my recaps the same uh, and I will still do my weekly recaps as well of what has been going on. Just because we're not using on Passive 360 uh, as that 
uh, focal point doesn't mean to say that we're going to stop doing what we're doing. I certainly know that uh, Marty and Chris are going to carry on doing what they do. And in fact, they're probably going to end up doing even more. I know that they're working extremely hard behind the scenes to uh, teach Chris uh, a lot of the new tech stuff as far as YouTube is concerned, uh, which is, in my opinion, uh, all very positive. What is happening at the moment is of a positive nature. And that is the way that we should look at it, the way we should view it, view it. Change for some people is uncomfortable. It's a little bit unnerving. It's a bit like having your favourite blanket, isn't it? You know, when you're a kid, it takes a lot, a, a, a long time for a lot of people to let go of the old comfy blanket or the toy or whatever it may be. Why? Because it's their safe, secure place, isn't it? And a lot of on passive has that to it. People feel very safe and secure with what they know. A bit like our lives, the times we do it, we are now almost part of your daily routine. Uh, oh, yeah, I've got to do this because Marty's on at 10, Red's on at 11, so to speak. You know, we get very uh, used to how things are. This next chapter of On Passive is so, certainly going to be a breath of fresh air. You know, we really are moving into a new area of corporate on passive. This is good. OK, it's not a bad thing at all. This is all good news. And as we know, that's what the company is all about. Only good news. You know, they've had to endure an awful lot over, especially the last two years, as far as the journey of on passive is concerned. And part of this uh, next phase, new chapter, whatever you want to call it, is to be a bit more professional about what they are doing, you know, to go about it in a bit more of a business-like manner. That will then, in effect, as far as I'm concerned, it really will uh, enhance the business for all of us. Why? Because Yes, we are a community and that community feel of on passive is never going to go away, especially for those early adopters, the founders, the ones that have been here through that journey. I don't think anything is going to ever change as far as our uh, tight knit community is concerned. But from looking forward and the outside looking in, we need to treat it as a business and people need to view it as a business, not a meeting place, not a social scene or anything like that. They need to look at on passive as a uh, trusted, dedicated, uh, professional entity where they can go and get the tools and services they need to operate either individually or business or even larger corporations. And this is, for me, part of what that next phase chapter is going to be. Steve Brocklehurst, my friend, thank you so much for continuing as a VIP. That's everyone in green, all of you. I will give you a shout out today, so stay tuned if you want your name Shout it out a lot over the YouTube airways. So we need to start shifting our, not focus of on passive, but start to think of it more in a business entity. Yes, it is available to everybody. That's still going to be the same, but it shows the seriousness of on passive to be a recognized business. And for that to happen, things have to change. And why not better way of changing them when you're doing a restart, next phase, new chapter, or whatever you want to call it? It is the perfect opportunity to do all of these things, almost sweep stuff clean, get rid of the trash, in other words, that was maybe cluttering the place up so that people have a much clearer view of what on passive is. There is not so much uh, rubbish kicking about, and they really have got a good idea of what we are all about. 
I really do think, uh, thanks, Steve, for your nice words, by the way. Uh, I really do believe that this is a big, big step forward as far as on passive is concerned. I think it's going to certainly give out the right impression. I certainly think that it's going to send out the right message as far as what their intentions are. And this is going to be a good thing for all of us. Why? It Because it is going to be beneficial to all of us so that when people uh, that we maybe reintroduce or introduce for the first time to on passive, they're going to look at it and think, yeah, these guys know what they're doing. They're professional. Look at their website. Look at the content. Look at how they organize things, the professionalism that's involved with everything that they're doing. And I personally believe this is going to be so, so helpful to all of us. It means that we can do our thing in our own way with our own business as far as on passive is concerned in the knowledge that we are going to have that professionalism and backing from corporate on passive. Only good news. So I thought I'd bring that to the table today because I think it's a real plus uh, what is happening. Obviously, uh, this came from Ash Farah to say that uh, he would like us to drop 360 because he wants to go to uh, using the ecosystem for all of those corporate updates. Is Marty, myself and Chris going to come together from time to time? You betcha. Of course we are. Uh, we probably won't call it 360. Uh, we might just do ad hoc ones or whatever it may be. Uh, but certainly together always. And this was uh, one of the reasons why we brought ourselves together, because we've always been individually doing a lot. So why not do one of them together a lot? William DeLorme, my friend, thank you so much for rejoining once again the uh, Tea Clubbers. It's very kind of you to support me on this YouTube channel. Uh, David Rosalski there in the chat's got a very, very good point. He says those thinking on passive as a hobby will will snap to a good time when they realise they collect uh, the apples. Uh, he said, watch them tighten up will be funny to see. Uh, it is true. It is that many people still don't view on passive as a proper bona fide business. And where I personally believe when people see others making commissions from their efforts, which they've built over the last six years uh, from their efforts they do with their own business to uh, resell the products and services, get people on board, resellers and the rest of it. I really do think it will be the proverbial kick up the arse that a lot of people need because one thing's for sure, if you want to ensure your success the best person to trust at it is yourself obviously guys obviously on passive is going to do an awful lot of the work for us but if you want to ensure your success in on passive there's only one person to look at and that's the guy staring you at in the mirror he is the person or she is the person or they actually nowadays isn't it is the person that you really need to look at to say, yeah, I'm going to make take this seriously. I'm going to make it this work for me, my family, the people around me, and I'm going to do something about it. You know, uh, I can't remember what the saying was, something about if Mohammed can't go to the mountain and the mountain come to Mohammed, whatever it was, one of the two. But you've got to make it work yourself. That's what I'm trying to say here. You know, and you need to uh, take that initiative yourself to do something about it. So all good news, new chapter, new phase, all coming your way. Really is just a matter of days before we find out anything. Like I said, we, it could be today, could be tomorrow, could be over the weekend, might be next week. I have no idea. But one thing's for sure, we will find out very, very shortly. And I'm sure that if our CEO needs information to get out to you, he will let uh, either myself, Marty, or Chris know, and then we will feed it out to you. Fatima, thank you so much for your super sticker. Very, very kind. 
Anyway, guys, let's go over to the chat now and say a good hello to every single one of you. I haven't done it for a while, and I've missed you all. Because you make me do it. Well, that's because I make Jane do it. You're absolutely right. Okay, let's start off with everyone in green then. Uh, we'll start with Santina Zamanek, Cynthia Deering, M. Kaylee, and the lovely Jean Oliva. You are there, all tea clubbers, all in green. Uh, Santina Zamanek as well. You're there, the lovely Fatima once again. Michelle Champagne, hello, mate. How you doing? Uh, we've also got the my mate Jarmo from sunny Tenerife, Cynthia Deering, Curtis Slick, Strickland, and Steve Brocklehurst. Uh, uh, Dawn McIntyre is there as well. Dennis Eldridge is in the house, all tea club in it. These are my tea clubbers, Curtis Strickland. If I haven't sent your name, but you are certainly there, we shall move over in a moment. Let's do Storm AB, Manage Jacobs, and Joe Sordo. You are there. Uh, Vikash Kumar, Robert McGahey, Nagaraj is T Club in it, and Kagal Paul, I think that is Kajal Paul, Brotherman, you are there, the lovely pap parent. Hello to you, Yusuf Addo, and Alampur Chinan Ashana, probably killing that okay. one. Michael C, hello to you, Sunil Dunoka, maybe. Uh, Diane Mitchell, how are you? Taran Yar, uh, William Delorme is T Club in it. Hello, mate, how you doing? Mary Tienda and Butlip Pradam, hi to you. Amando Bisignani is T Club in it. Hi, mate, and Ken Pringle, David Rosalski, you are there as well. And Anuj uh, Verma, thank you for joining the T Clubbers. Hello and welcome, James Hawking. Here you are there, Robert McGahey, uh, Steve Brocklehurst, if I haven't said hello to you, Alice Copeland. Uh, Mary Tienda, hi to you. Elizabeth McPhee, Martin Pierre, Sunil, I'll say hello to you. Uh, Anuj Vuma, there you are, all in green now. Eh? Fantastic. Uh, Chandul Manevath, maybe? I have no idea. Prathap Reddy, hi to you. Uh, Richard Douglas, your tea clubber. Thanks to you for being a tea clubber. Uh, Mirages Ia, I think. Uh, Thembi Molala, killing me, guys. Melee, hello to you. Biswatch Giri, Belikius Jabir Jilani, maybe. If it's not, I'm sorry. Target traffic by Mamata, there you go. Uh, who else have we got? Uh, Shashikant. Pama, careful how you say that. And Stuart Molyneux, you are there in T Club in it. Singh Sakur, Sakar, Cynthia Deering is T Club in it. Uh, Dave Angelica, hello, mate, how you doing? Couple more, then we shall do. Sean, obviously, hi, mate, how you doing? Uh, Bimal Das, if I'm said hello to you. Uh, Nunu Santos, uh, hi to you. Nancy Wahai, Wahai, Wahai. How do you think you say W A H A I? Is it Wahai? Wahai. We're going to go for Wahai. Uh, Vamat uh, Fakul. Careful how you say that one as well. And the last one's going to go to uh, Diana Coates because you're easy to say. There you go, guys. Uh, I will be around. Will I be around tomorrow? Yes. I'll be at my daughter's, but I shall do a live tomorrow uh, and bring you something else to the table. Let's uh, obviously, if we get information, I shall bring that as well. That's it from me. Speak to you all tomorrow. Bye now. No, stop it. <laughs>